Daniel and Emily, you are entering a covenant relationship today in just this serious manner. You stand before God and before these witnesses as two people, but when you leave, you will be one flesh. Emily, as you live as the help made to your husband, you will be giving the world a living portrait of the gospel. Your role in this love relationship is vital to the future of the kingdom of God. Daniel, as you sacrifice everything in your life to love, serve, sanctify, and purify your wife, there's no holiday from this responsibility. The world cannot see the relationship, the mystical and spiritual relationship of Christ in the church, but the world can see Daniel and Emily's relationship. This marriage covenant will serve as a tool in the hand of God to bring about a harvest of souls in the years to come. If you want to know Emily Roberts, then above all, it's my best friend. She was at JSU while I was at JSU. Um, just, I was playing ball. She was working in academics at the time. Daniel played football at Jacksonville State University, and I just, uh, through the Lord's providence, ended up working with the team as a tutor. I went to all his games, supported him, which is really, uh, we were good friends. I ended up going off to train. Um, for the league and she was still at JSU and I came back for a position um, working with some friends of ours and um, one night we, she called me up and, and was like let's let's go get some dinner and I was like hey let's go get some dinner I'm, I'm down. We went um, on what I call our first date Daniel did not know it was a date I guess the guys on the team were very protective of me it was like nobody messes with Emily uh, she's not going to be with any of y'all it was just kind of absurd to Daniel for him to think that like we would date or that I would have any relationship with him other than just the academic lady on the trip of Austin. We were always friends and she always challenged me so hard that I just thought it was going to be another one of those nights of her challenging me. You look absolutely perfect and amazing. She let me know that she liked me, and I was like, I really like you too. And um, I just never thought that I would be the one for you. I think about that first date at Yamato, it didn't make sense, but it turned into something beautiful. Like, it was a seed that was planted that night that just grew. You, Daniel, and you, Emily, having come to me signifying your desire to enter into the covenant of marriage, and being assured that no legal, moral, or religious barrier hinder this union, I ask you to face one another and join right hands. My sweet love, June 11th is here, and in a few short hours, I will have the greatest honor and joy of my life, vowing to love you in every sense of the word for the rest of my days. Once upon a time, you asked the question, what took me so long to realize that you loved me? <laughs> The truth is, Emily Claire, I've always known you were the one. From the first moment I saw you in that office to the moment we danced on the Nashville Bridge. In both of these moments, I saw my life and what it would be like with you flash before my eyes, like clips and reels from all the best love story movies. I just was scared because I felt I never deserved such a love so perfect. Almost at times, I felt unworthy to take on someone so magnificent. I want to let you in on the view from my perspective. I have seen a man who has submitted to the Lordship of Christ, been faithful to me, loyal, and so true. Pick flowers, become Vulcan man, <laughs> make Target and TJ Matt runs, develop a taste for coffee, humbly admitted wrongs, and sought reconciliation. I promise and solemnly swear every day in my life to choose you, just as Christ chose us. Thank you for loving me and seeing the best in me when I couldn't see it in myself. Today, I vow to cherish you with all that I am, to choose you each moment of every day, to love you as selflessly as I can. You are more than just a love for me. You are my best friend, my better half, and my prayer partner. 
whatever our role in marriage is as husband or wife, the role is crucial to our living a submissive life under the Lordship of Jesus Christ. I've seen myself change so much and I can't wait to be her husband and take on the world with her. There's never a dull moment because she brings so much life and light to my life. You stand before God and before these witnesses as two people, but when you leave, you will be one flesh. Daniel, I've watched you make mighty fine catches, but I think you made your best catch. Having pledged your faith in and love to each other, and having sealed your solemn vows by exchanging of rings, this holy covenant shall remain sacred forever. Daniel, you may kiss your bride.